Hello, Laura back again, and this time with an L4 M8 learning objective one question. So L4 M8 has four case studies, so everything that we're doing is based on a case. Let's have a look at the first part of this question. So the London Organising Committee of the Olympic and Paralympic Games, LOCOG, spent around £700 million on the goods and services that required sourcing for the event. A, explain the term sourcing for four marks. So let's have a read of this case. The London 2012 Olympic Games created many challenges for the London Organising Committee of the Olympic and Paralympic Games, LOCOG, which was responsible for preparing and staging the event. A major challenge was to establish a temporary procurement function to ensure the money it raised through sponsorship and tickets was spent efficiently. Around 700 million was spent on the goods and services that required sourcing for the event. This expenditure covered everything from the medals and sports equipment for the events, as well as catering, fridges, plants, and toilet rolls needed in the athlete's village. In 2009, it became clear that in order to overcome the sourcing challenges presented by London 2012, procurement needed to play a significant part in order to achieve the best possible deals. The procurement function was therefore positioned at the centre of the operations within the organising committee and its profile was enhanced by the appointment of a director of procurement. One issue that helped the engagement between the procurement function and its stakeholders was that the procurement function was involved in the whole process from start to finish. This enabled the procurement function to identify the products that needed to be sourced from the start of the process. What really defined the low-cog procurement team was that while some deadlines could be delayed, the Olympic Games most certainly could not. It was essential to identify several hundred viable suppliers that were capable of delivering the right products and services on time and to budget. So this is incredibly complex. Another opportunity was presented by the very nature of the low cog procurement function, which was set up specifically for and dismantled after the Games. Developing a completely new function enabled the team to include aspects of growing importance within procurement, such as things like sustainability or local sourcing. One of the benefits of starting a new function was that the function was able to design the sourcing process and procedures that best suited its needs. So it was able to create something that was fit for purpose. At the core of the sourcing process was the Compete for web-based buying portal, which was created specifically for the games. Everything that was bought for the event was managed through the portal. All interested suppliers had to register and declare the categories for which they, would, they could provide products or services. The portal opened up the opportunity for any supplier with an internet connection to express an interest and pitch for business. The procurement function was required to look at all those suppliers who registered. Although the portal involved slightly more work up front for the procurement function, this was offset by the value achieved. A number of new, unknown and innovative suppliers were identified during the sourcing process. One was my dad's company for some of the uh, bronze, bronze signage. Once a preferred bidder was identified for a particular contract, the final stage of the sourcing process was the deal approval group. At this point, the buyer responsible for the contract and a member of the appropriate functional user team had to recommend and justify the sourcing decision to an internal panel that include the chairman, chief exec, legal director, sustainability director, commercial director, and the procurement director of LOCOG. They had to convince the panel that it represented the right value and met all the criteria, including sustainability. So it was really a thorough process. Okay, let's look at the question then. Explain the term sourcing. So sourcing is part of a process that is concerned with how and where products or services are obtained. And we're gonna get four marks here. So we're not gonna get four marks for that. It's a pre-contract activity which identifies, selects, and develops suppliers. And sourcing, you could say, was a critical process of the procurement function for the Olympic Games to make sure that everything happened as it should. So to get the four marks, I want to see a paragraph, at least four sentences at the very least, and bring it back to Lowcock, because that's what this case is all about. Let's look at part B. Describe four stages of the sourcing process that might be used for LOCOG. Okay, so this is testing your knowledge of the sourcing process. And so we're going to drill in to the four that I've picked. Any of the nine stages of sourcing, absolutely fine, but I've just picked these ones. So the first stage would be identification of the requirement. 
So this involves early buyer involvement because it mentioned about how in the case they started, they saw the whole process through from start right through to finish. There is purchase requisitions, cross-functional communication within the panel and within that procurement team and the other areas as well of LOCOG. So everything you're saying here, you have to bring it back to the case. Market analysis is the next stage. Scoping out your spend and current positioning and looking at the dynamics of the marketplace. So here you conduct analysis as to whether to make or buy the product or outsource the service. So this is what the LOCOG used the Compete for, portal for. They're able to look at you know, new and innovative suppliers that are out there in the marketplace. So you've got to bring each and every point back. Then you can develop the strategy and plan. So are you going to tender this? Is it an RFQ? Um, are you going to dual source or single source or is there multiple sourcing? So all of this strategy and plan was, I assume, what they spent time on before they created the portal and so on to be able to you know, speed up the process. So you've got e-auctions and other things that they can use with this. And then the fourth one that I picked was pre-procurement market testing and engagement. Again, you could have picked any of the other ones. These are just the ones that I decided to talk about. And so this is where you conduct market testing or a strategy test to identify if it's the right time to go into the marketplace. Obviously, they don't in LOCOG, it is the right time because as it says in the case, some things can get delivered late, but the games won't be late and they're on at that set time. And so everything has to be done for that time. You need to consider other factors, things like weather issues, competitor activities, crop cycles, whatever it may be, uh, suppliers, end of financial year, new legislation. And so all of this obviously is using public money. So there's a lot of regulations that they need to think about here to make sure that everything's done above board, complying with legislation, ensuring that you get competition and the best value for money. And when we're talking about value for money, we're always talking about the highest quality for the lowest cost. And the games was a huge success. So obviously they did a great job. So that's how you drill in. Each point you should be, you know, making a statement, which is pre-procurement, market testing and engagement is a stage in the sourcing cycle. And then you're explaining it, which is these points here. And then you've got your examples where you link back to the case. Hope you found that useful. Thanks so much for listening and catch me back for another constructive response exam soon. Bye for now.